but as RLD, I would I would uh, elaborate what we are doing. We are into uh, station development projects, and uh, as you know, uh, we have been talking, we have been listening about station development for quite long time, and uh, uh, finally, government decided that let us let us start the station development by our own funding. So station development projects, uh, they are very very brown field projects where a lot of construction risks are involved and then uh, when if we if we uh, think about the uh, private players coming into investment for such projects they need a, a kind of revenue stream for this uh, which would need either land to be uh, given for commercial development or uh, user charges to be levied on the uh, user on the passengers so uh, the, the government decided that uh, uh, levying user charges would would entail uh, burden on on common passenger as we know the the uh, passengers which uh, indian railways are catering to their profile 70 80 percent profile is very very low uh, income group and uh, putting extra burden on them would be really very very hard uh, to bear for them and so uh, government decided that let us provide world class facilities to all kinds of all classes of passengers uh, with our own i mean the government's own uh, funding and create infrastructure which matches with the international standards and integrate the cities and create new kind of city centers uh, for uh, for the over the stations where uh, the needs of everybody not only passengers and needs of other citizens of the city they are also met with uh, if you talk about the stations, they have been traditionally, they have developed, uh, they were already initially uh, started in the new, uh, new areas away from cities. But over a period of time, cities, came, cities started developing on both sides of the station and station became a kind of barrier between two parts of the city. So uh, it became a dividing line between the, between the two uh, portions of the city. So government decided that why why not to integrate these two parts of development uh, by bridging the gap. So uh, when we talk about station development uh, project, we are talking about master planning uh, to cater to the all the needs of the traffic of that area uh, to uh, cater to the congestion which has created which has been created over a period of time and. That is why uh, the station development pro uh, the, the station development uh, project entails a complete integration of the uh, station and catering to the uh, to the uh, traffic needs of the area and uh, removing the uh, congestion from the uh, roads. Uh, you mean RLD and actually we are in rail development uh, rail land development authority. So uh, we. We are into uh, developing the uh, railway stations, and at the same time, uh, we uh, RLD RLDA's mandate is to develop the entire surplus land across the country, wherever railway land is available in the country, wherever it is surplus to the needs, present needs of the railways. That is offered to RLDA for commercially developing and generating revenues for railways to bridge the gap of uh, our infrastructure uh, investment. So that is what we have been doing uh, for last uh, about 15 years. Uh, initially, uh, of course, there were challenges. There were the rules uh, were to be framed and then uh, there were uh, other procedures to be uh, laid down. Uh, but in last three or four years, things have really picked up very well. Uh, in 2019-20, uh, just before the pandemic uh, struck our uh, the, the world, uh, we could uh, lease out uh, the land parcels uh, worth around 1,550 crores. Uh, but then, uh, due to COVID, every all markets they were down, and even, uh, even real estate sector was down, and that challenge has been uh, been overcome by now. Uh, during COVID times, uh, we could. Uh, lease out very small fraction of our uh, land parcel. It was only about 133 crores, very, very less. 
Last year things picked up slightly and we could lease out land parcels uh, worth about 600 crores. And this year we have already surpassed all our previous best. So in first six months of this current financial year, we have already uh, avoided lease contracts worth 1,800 crores, which is higher than our previous best of entire year 2019-20, when we could achieve uh, the uh, revenue, uh, I mean, uh, lease contracts worth 1,500 crores. Uh, you see, uh, when we develop infrastructure, when we develop our uh, stations, when we develop our uh, facilities, we have to see that they have to be sustainable. We cannot only cater to the needs of the current generation. We have to look for the future also. Uh, when we talk about future, we should always keep this in mind that whatever we create today, they are sustainable. They are uh, zero energy, uh, zero uh, net energy uh, facilities, uh, zero waste. Uh, many, zero waste uh, assets should be there. Uh, so in that direction, uh, when we plan our railway stations, when we are doing as RLDA as a responsible organization, uh, we are uh, targeting for platinum rated green buildings uh, for our stations. We are trying to minimize the impact of our development on the environment. We, uh, we go for minimum uh, tree cutting for, uh, for, the, for that purpose. Most of the trees, if they are required uh, to be removed, they are transplanted in the nearby areas so that the overall development is uh, sustainable. Then at the same time, uh, we go for, we are going for, uh, we are following the national TOD policy where mixed kind of uh, mixed use development is uh, being planned where we plan for residential development, commercial development, office development uh, with the concept of walk to work so that we need minimum uh, transportation. We don't need uh, uh, motorized vehicles to go from one place to another place. Then we integrate different modes of transport uh, like uh, in New Delhi or uh, for that matter in Mumbai or Ahmedabad. We are uh, integrating uh, metros uh, with the railways we are integrating bus with the railways and of course cars and autos will always be there. So uh, we are trying to make them more pedestrian friendly. We are trying to provide uh, dedicated uh, paths for cyclists. So we are trying that whatever development we do, that should be sustainable. <laughs>